Hi guys. Well, we last saw each other on the 3rd of December. Uh, it is now the 31st of December. Um, we've played, I think the last game, yeah, was uh, second round of the FA Cup, kind of comfortable win against Markham. And since then, we've played six league games. Uh, we so that's 18 points. Uh, we did all right. We, you know, can't complain. We got 11 points out of 18 uh, and pretty steady away, really. So we're still certainly better than where we want to be in the league. And we're still in the FA Cup, which is kind of what partly what this video is about, kind of 50% of it. So yeah, so let's have a look and just a bit of a review of what you've missed. And, uh, and then uh, today, I think I'm gonna go for a couple of games today, a bit of a longer video, and you'll see why in a, a few moments. So yeah, let's have a little review of uh, how we've done and uh, we'll get into the games. So yeah, so here we go. This was the fixture list. As you can see, the last game that uh, you saw was Morecambe, um, pretty comfortable. Dion Pereira, a couple of goals. Great, he's playing well. So the next game against Plymouth in the league, boring. Well, it was boring nil-nil, but we were we were way, way better team. And uh, I'll just show you actually. So as you see by the stats there, we were at home. 17 shots, six, to, six on target. They had three shots. And the team, you know, we played pretty well, just could not score. And for some of you who've maybe watched the game a while, um, and some you might not be sure of uh, how it's played and what, the, what you're supposed to do is, the point of the game is to score goals. And we couldn't score goals. So, so that was that. So that was disappointing. That was a game we probably should have won. Um, next game... Accrington and as you see there yeah we lost that when we're playing away lost 3-1 I mean Accrington are not particularly doing great in the league the 20th in the league but it, it is what it is I mean we're playing a, a better league and and we lost 3-1 and um, I did make lots of team changes I think partly due to you know a fitness thing and uh, so that was a bit risky uh, it is what it is and sometimes you have to do that and it didn't pay off and to be honest we got beat quite easily so there you go 3-1 next game we played against Bolton um, we we had a good solid game and uh, the Loney Webster I'll just uh, let's have a look Charlie Webster he had a great game so yeah he scored a goal um, he had a really good performance, uh, man of the match. I think him and Beavers, obviously. But as you see there, the team played pretty well as well. Uh, Action-packed game. They had a few chances. We had more chances, and uh, yeah, we got a we got a two two nil victory out of it. So that was great. Next game we played against Reading. We were at home, and uh, yeah, we couldn't win that one either. So again, we were we were the better team. We had a solid performance. And uh, Marquis scored, but as you see again, we 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 have our we certainly have our shots. We had nineteen shots, seven on target, and uh, we could only score one goal. So, but on the plus side, Marquis has kind of proven me wrong, really, and he's he's playing all right these days. So at least we didn't lose it. And then after that, we played Markham again, but this time in the league. And we sneaked that one. Um, it was a good team performance, but I guess we were we were looking it we're lucky in the end. Uh, I think did we score that late or yeah, not too late, sixty eight minutes. But yeah, again we were a better team. They had no shots on target, uh, but you know we, we got it in the end. And now this one, this hurt me. Now what you can see there is we won one nil. We won the game, so fair enough. But no, that's not the full story because huh, I played this game. It was the best game of the year. We won 6-0. What a performance. And I say what because I'm talking about Elliot Watt. 
uh, our amazingly great talent young midfielder, he scored three goals, two assists, and then straight after the game, the game froze. And I could not, I tried and tried and tried and I could not um, get it back and carry on. And so by far the best game of the season. What a blinder. 10 out of 10, by the way. And then I lost the game and had to restart it, um, which luckily it saved about three days before. Played it again and we just, we won 1-0, which uh, was, uh, yeah, it was devastating. So there we go. So uh, that is the, uh, the, what we've done in the last you know few weeks, four weeks or so. So again, 11 points out of 18. So how does that look for the league? And yeah, we're, we're still in the promotion places. We're second in the league, five points ahead of third place. I, I still stand by the fact that I am looking for um, playoffs. If I get in the playoffs, I'm delighted. But the way as the, the game is, the season is going on, we're still there. So, you know, we just keep doing what we're doing and uh, who knows? But um, I always knew that we would be kind of challenging. I'd be, I, was, I thought we'd be comfortable in the league, maybe not as high as this, but we were always a League One team. So, and we've made a couple of signings and uh, they seem to be working out really. So just have a look at the squad on that note to see how we're getting on. And top of the pile there is Elliot Watt. Um, doing really well, four goals, eight assists, really, really solid performance. Party up there as ever, and just a great captain. Beavers, who I signed at the start of the season, um, older, older, been around the houses, solid centre half. He's playing brilliantly as well. Sonogo, which, yeah, look at that, 15 goals. Uh, he's still banged him in in League 2 and he's banging him in in, in uh, League 1 as well. 15 goals, 20 starts. Um, Reece Staunton's playing well. Better at the start of the season, but he's still playing well. John Marquis, I signed him. I slagged him off, <laughs> kind of. Said uh, I was worried about him, but yeah, he scored 10 goals. So it's not, it's the 31st of December. Not quite... Um, well, we, we played half halfway through the season, I guess, in the games. And uh, he's heading for possibly 20 goals. So, um, so yeah, there's it's just a good all-round. The team is just all playing well. So, um, fantastic stuff, really. So, what else uh, do we want to look at? Oh, dynamics. Yeah, I think... Yeah, dynamics. Hierarchy is what it is. It's still parties at the top and, uh, and a few few down there everybody's reasonably happy one or two unhappy but i think it's just because they're not playing obviously he's devastated because he wants to leave which i might let him leave levi sutton but matty falls i'm sorry you're not going out on loan because uh, we need you as a backup so uh, that is the way it is so that's that and that's the review and what have we got on today and the reason like I say, it's going to be longer and it's two games is because, as you see there, the next game is Forest Green. So I thought, well, I've got to play them. Then Bristol Rovers will not uh, watch that one. And then it's the third round of the FA Cup, which is kind of the big game, but it's a game that we should be winning because we play Mansfield. Um, so we're going to play two games today. So let's get into the games. Right, so here we are. Here's the team for today against Forest Green. We're away. Um, I know I always say that I like to um, play the, the first team uh, at all times, play your best team, but yeah, I, yeah, that can't always happen. I think, for example, Charlie Webster, the young loanee, is not playing because he is knackered, absolutely knackered, so Cook is in his place. And Sonogo is not up front because... Well, Marquis has been playing well and, and I really want to know go um, in the third round. So he might get a couple of games rest. So we shall see. So 
So yeah, Forest Green, here we go, our nemesis. But uh, I think we beat them earlier in the season, so it's it should go a bit better than it did last season. But uh, you never know in this game. So let's go. Oh, an early goal would be nice. Right. Oh, there's Hendry there, just played that ball. We know what he can do. Let's not give him any free kicks about within about 30 yards of the goal. Oh, nice little through ball. Come on, Pereira. Oof. Yeah, like I say, Staunton, uh, he's, he's, he's had a solid season, but he, he played much better at the start of the season. Oh, penalty. Marquise went down like he'd been shot. And a yellow card for Diallo. And I still haven't changed the penalty taker, so... Okay. No, I think the reason I didn't take the penalty take, change the penalty taker is... When I said it, I didn't change it. And then since then, his penalties have been quite good, actually. So, not that the keeping was brilliant there. But yeah, he's, he's, he's been doing all right with the penalties, actually. So, 1-0. So, oh. <sighs> oh, wow, wow, wow. Um, yeah, 1-0 um, away from home quite early. So, But that one was close, inside of the post. But sometimes you have to ride your luck in this game. Oh, lovely ball over the top. <laughs> oh, that was. I'm not sure if that's good keeping or he should have buried it and he hit it straight at the keeper. Well, we seem to be in control, but we all know what that one nil means nothing. Okay, we'll take that. Oh, lovely ball. Oh, he's gone a bit wide. Oh, what happened there? It, it, it almost looked like a mistake, but a goal's a goal. Clearly wasn't. Well done, Marquise, for just taking his time. Grant gets to the byline. Oh, okay. It, it looked like a delicate little flicked header there just a very nice little delicate header so well um dare i say it looking quite comfortable it's only the first half Oh, he's through. Yeah. And there you go. And that's football for you. Uh, a nice, comfortable 2-0 lead. And in the end, it was just a good old-fashioned flicked head-on. And he outpaced our not-too-speedy defence. So, okay. Positivity... We're still winning. And we looks like we're playing well as well. Everybody seems to be having a good game. Or a solid game at, at the very least. I just think back to some of the uh, games against Forest Green when we've been like 2-0 sort of up and they win 3-2 or something. So... Oh, wow, wow, wow. 
okay, yeah. I'm relaxed. I'm going to have a drink of coffee. It's fine. Good save. It's like we're uh, hoping for half time now. Just uh, booting it away. <sighs> Simply sublime. Okay then. Well, that was that. So we're in kind of we're in control, but and we still are. We're still leading. So on to the second half, eh? So yeah, I think if anybody would going to guess what I would say here, the manager, Mr. Hart, manager Hart, um, as I usually go to is this one, things are going well, but I know you're capable of even better. Um, yeah, certainly uh, from the, from the end of the first half, then yeah, we need to be better. There's Hendry. I'm just waiting for a foul at the end, edge of the box or something. Okay, well played. Oof, good save. Good position, Hornby. They're making it tough for themselves. They're really taking control now. Yeah, I mean, looking at the chances now, they've had 12, we've had 7, so they are in control. Um, that what? I don't know what our keeper was doing there, but... I mean, when you talk about covering your near post, um, I think he just left about a bus, a bus width gap there. And there you have it, Forest Green strikes again, and they are not giving up there. Well, it's... <sighs> Forest Green, why do you do this to me? Why do you do this to me? He let like a salmon. Oh my god. Well, it looks like Sonogo is going to be having a run out. And suddenly... I mean, the, the defence are not playing badly. It's just... Forest Green. They're just... No, I don't want that. Oh, what's going on? I'll just uh, wait. Okay. Right then. Grant off. I'm going to go lopsided. I'm going to go. Yeah, I think so. Cook off. I'm going to put. I know he's tired, but. Oh, he needs to come on. We need a goal. I'll take a draw. I would absolutely take a draw. Right, okay, but 20 minutes. Oh, come on, Sano, go straight at the keeper. It's not happening. Okay. Hugo. 
We've not really done anything this season. We've got a few minutes. What was that, Hugo? Come on, let's have a bit of fight. Oh dear. This is not looking good. Oh, here we go. Oh! Oh, that was a brilliant chance. Are we gonna have another chance? Doesn't look like it. No, that's it. This is unbelievable. Unbelievable. And that's it. Oh dear. Yeah, I don't think we played badly, but it's just Forest Green. Look at that, it was an even game. 17 shots to 16 shots, nine on target, nine on target. It was an even game, but it's just Forest Green. And uh, they just punish me. Oh well, so there you go. Um, I, I, I hope you enjoyed that game. Um, it kills me every time. So there we go. I, it's disappointing that we didn't win considering we were on top and had a lot of chances. Um, yeah, okay, we'll go with that. <laughs> so how does that do for the league? Uh, of course, we're still, we're still in second. I think third, Lincoln have got two games in hand, so there's a chance they could move ahead of us, but uh, we shall see. We're still there again. We're not complaining, but and we were away, but oh, Forest Green. It just, it just makes me so sad. <laughs> okay, then. So I will play the next game, and then I will continue on to the cup game, which is the big one. That's why we're here today, anyway. So uh, okay, stay watching, uh, and I'll be back in a few seconds. Right, and here we are again. So, um, as you see there, we played Bristol Rovers and the technical term is we sneaked it. And it was just a, a maturing goal just before half time, nice free kick. I did make a lot of changes. As you see there, Sonogo did play in a change of formation, two up front. But he came off at half time, so just to kind of keep him fresh. But as you see there, there was a lot of changes. The only players really who played all the time is Sonogo, O'Connor. And they both of those came off, I think, O'Connor in the second half. Um, yeah, it was an even game, but uh, I have to say we did sneak it. So I will take it. A lot of changes. We won the game 100%. So the league... Uh, yeah, we're still there in second, uh, four points, but they've got still got two games on us, so uh, they could overtake us. We're, um, so yeah, we're we're still in a a nice position there, I suppose. Um, it's transfer window. I'm not getting involved until uh, after this game. We're just about to play. Um, also, the finances. Are going down and down and down so every month it just goes down I would say that probably after next month or the month after so what's that gonna be about March we'll be in the red so this game we're about to play is crucial um, we would really really like to get through this and then get a few quid in the in the in the uh, the fourth round um, Kind of because we're hoping to get in the championship and we want to be preparing for that and have a few quid to be uh, stable and 
you know, make some signings because up to now we've had no money at all. So, and as you see here, we have the FA Cup fourth round draw. So it's the Monday. So I think obviously we're the game on the Monday. So uh, we're gonna we're gonna be knowing who, we're gonna know who we're playing before we start the game. So let's see. Right then, let's see who we have got in the fourth round. No, who will take that? Oh, no, no, yes, please. No, no. No, please, no. Too violent. It's another big team gone. No, please. Another big team gone. Yes, please. Oh, dear. Uh, yeah, we'll take that. <laughs> no. Yeah, we'll take that. Hmm. Well, there's not... I don't think there's any big teams left, so we might end up getting another... Easy-ish, not easy, well, game, so. No, I don't really want Barnsley. Wow. Okay, Oxford. Hmm, interesting. So, it's not the perfect big game we we wanted, but... We're playing at home, if we get through, obviously. And we're playing Hull, who are a championship side, but, you know, we're pretty much top of the League One and uh, got a chance. So, okay. So, I don't know what to think about that. But, again, we've got a game to play and we've got um, to win that one first. So... Let's get on to the Mansfield game, shall we? Right. Well, call me crazy, but the first team is, is all there. Um, we've got who we want to play. Uh, but I'm going with Marquise up front. So he's playing well. And I'm kind of happy to have Sonogo coming on in the second half, fresh, to cause chaos. So, um, yeah, I'm... I'm Still confident, and uh, with either of, as of those two guys, so. I think we need to show everyone that their recent praise is justified. Um, oh no, I'm going to go with the fans. These fans turn up through thick and thin. Remember that as you go out there today. All right, I'm not getting involved with reporters in the tunnel. I'll send my assistant. Right, come on then. This is it. We've got a prize of Hull in the next round. Well, we've got a prize of the fourth round, so that should be good enough. Wow, that, that was a bizarre old curly pass. Oh, come on, let's get hold of the ball. We should be the ones with the, the solid midfield who can get hold of the ball, really. Okay, well played. That was never going to be in. There's no pace and, yeah, miles are out. Okay, come on. It's a very nervy game so far. Not a lot's happened. We're not playing particularly well. Okay, breaks on. Break is on. Use your pace. 
Oh, well defended there. He just tracked him the whole way. Wow, very tight game. Nothing is happening, really. Yeah, we're not playing that well. I think defence is reasonably solid, but... Oh, come on, Pereira. What was that? Oof. That was a bit too close for comfort. Well, we've done nothing. We've had two shots and zero on target. We choose the this game to be uh, worst of the season. Okay, then well, it's still nil nil. Let's go again. So let's see what we're gonna say. I'm going to risk this and go, that isn't good enough. Absolutely unacceptable. Shall I throw a water bottle or aggressive? No, I'm not aggressive. Point the finger. Oh, if I, if I point the finger, I'll throw a water bottle. Absolutely unacceptable. Hmm. I don't often do this. So let's see if this works. Yeah, the uh, the forwards are playing dismal, really dismally. Can't change them all. Shot on target would be nice. This is terrible. Pereira wants to come off, does he? Okay, I'll get your wish. Okay, so Pereira's coming off, Verdum's coming on, and Marquise is coming off, and Sonogo's coming on. I'm sticking with one up front because it's still nil nil, we only need one goal. Come on, put a cross in Beavers. Oh! <sighs> Again, it's just an easy... Oh my word. Should have scored. Sorry, Tyler, you're staying on. You're playing all right. Okay, now come on, brakes on. Come on, Grant, use your pace. Oh, that was beautiful, Grant. Well done. Sonogo does what Sonogo does, and that was fantastic, Grant. Beaten for pace and a lovely ball in. Thought he'd lost his chance, but keeper was floundering. He was nowhere. Sonogo does the business. Okay, now, great time to score. Um, okay, okay, Morton. Where are you? Cousin Dawson. Okay. Just thrashed at that. I got all excited. Oh, <laughs> Sonogo, you are a superstar. Very straightforward. Wow, he just seemed to be all on his own. He just pulled away and simple, simple Sonogo. 
Well, I've got to be thinking about, do I want to keep him in the championship if we get there? Because why not? Oh, can he get his hat-trick in the last couple of minutes? Come on, give him another chance. Give him another chance. Oh, ho, ho, ho. well played. That's very well played. Oh, <laughs> I thought it was going to turn and shoot. Well, well, in the end, I think it looks like the second half, we absolutely powered on and, and did really well. And, and the subs, well, in the first half, the, the strikers were all at the front where it was nothing. Grant picked his game up. The midfield picked the game up. Vernon came on and played well. Sonogo came on and was the game changer, obviously. But... It, yeah, they that second half, talk about chalk and cheese. So, yeah, that was just fantastic. So, yeah, there we go. So, we're through to the fourth round. As you saw, we're playing Hull. We're at home. Um, it's not going to be an easy game They're uh, in the championship, but uh, we're a good team. So, we can beat anybody-ish on the day. So, excellent. Thanks for watching. Uh, we did it. We might get a few quid for that, but not too much. And we're through to the, the fourth round. So thanks for watching and I'll see you next time. Bye.